This is Ken from Coffee Crafters. I'm going to show you how to change an SSR in Artisan 2.5 and 3E. They're all the same. Uh, the tools we're going to need for this is you really only need one tool, which is a Phillips screwdriver. I'm going to use a screw gun to make it a little bit faster. Um, when you take the floor pan down, there are two different body styles. One of the body styles, this is the new one, has four screws on each face that you take out. I've already taken the ones on the very front of the roaster out. And it's easiest to do this job if you can lay the roaster on its face on a flat surface. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and take the rest of the screws out and we'll expose all the devices. The original body design had eight screws around the bottom, and so you would drop that floor down that way. But when the floor comes down, they both look exactly the same inside. Same component configuration. So now we've got the screws out, and we're just gonna grab the feet, take the floor down, and just tip it down like that. And we have the devices exposed. So. Today we're gonna to change the SSR 25, and this is the one that controls the motor speed. All of these um, wires are numbered. So this is SSR, it shows terminal three, four, one, two. Um, they're all numbered on the wires, so you can put them back in the same configuration. Um, so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take the wires off, and all you have to do is just loosen up these terminals a little bit and pull them straight back. Okay, so we have the four wires off of the SSR. And one of the things that, one of the things that you wanna do is uh, you have to take off the SSR off of the heat sink. So this is the heat sink down here. And that's the part that dissipates the heat. The screws that go in this are metric, and so you want to be really careful not to lose those. So that's the SSR we took off. We're going to put it in the same configuration with the writing in the same direction. And put the screws back in. And a note of caution, this is an aluminum heat sink, so don't over tighten the screws because if you do, you can strip them out. So you don't wanna use like a, a screw gun or anything to take those uh, screws off and torque them back down because uh, we don't wanna risk stripping that out. It doesn't take a lot of tension to hold them on. So we'll loosen up the terminals on the new SSR. There we go. Put these back in the same orientation that they came off. And put SSR wire number one back on. And wire number two. And that's it. We finished that part of the process. And then to put the floor back on, we're gonna tip that up and come around here, Bryce and show, we'll, we'll feed these wires. These are the wires that go up to the controls up front. We'll just push those in a little bit. Put the floor back into place. And then we'll reinsert all the body screws around the outside and we'd be done.